Hello dear friends, in today's video I would like to show you a wonderful idea of how you can make a renovator, or as some people also call it, a oscillurisis with your own hands. For the first time, the oscillurisis was invented in 1967 for medical purposes, in order to extract gypsum safely. Before the advent of the oscillurisis, gypsum was extracted using a tool similar to a grinder, the disc rotated, and thus the doctor carefully cut the gypsum. But if the doctor was inexperienced, he could cut off some of your skin. In order to avoid such incidents, this tool was invented. With the help of it, even at low speeds, it was possible to safely remove the gypsum without damaging the skin. In general, today I will show you how the solurisis was invented in the role of the nozzle, which is actually attached to the grinder. The tool is very cool, and in some tasks where you cannot approach either a grind or some scissors, you don't know what you can approach there, it's the solurisis that solves literally any problems perfectly. So let me show you how it was made, what it was made of, and of course after that we will definitely test it. Let's go. This homemade product is made literally in 30 minutes, and look how simple the construction is. The basis was taken only a metal pipe and a couple of such metal plates, so that the design didn't wobble left and right along the canvas. The cutting blade was made of two metals, as you can see, they are welded together. The first metal is from an old hex saw, and the second is from a slightly thicker saw. The teeth were cut with a drill and sharpened with a rasp. An oval hole is made in the middle, at first it was round, and after that it was all rounded off with a rasp. The holes are also drilled and stretched also with a rasp. The canvas will work left and right, so be sure to make one fixing hole. Well, to drive this construction will of course be a bearing. The wise guys wrote in the comments that the thread from the grinder is very quickly grinded off or the gear box will break. As you can see, a lot of attachments have been made for this grinder. The only thing that has deteriorated and deteriorates in this grinder is a protective plastic, because every time a new nozzle is tightened, we slightly deform it. Otherwise, the grinder works with a bang, nothing rattles, nothing is grinded off, everything works fine. Unfortunately, I lost the previous veneer somewhere, so now we will quickly make a new one. To do this, we take a bolt, apply it to the bearing, mark it, cut it off, and voila! Let's start the assembly. Insert the shim, bearing, veneer, the shim again, and tighten the screw nut. Insert the nozzle, tighten the bolts, we put on the canvas. two shims and tighten the screw nuts. So, guys, the simplest homemade nozzle renovator for the grinder we have already assembled, so let's test it. And to begin with, I will just turn the wrench a little so that you can see how the canvas moves in slow motion. The grinders have quite high revs, so be sure if you make any additions for them, let the grinders through the voltage regulators. The plywood is quite thin, so let's try a thicker bar. Ooh. 
Super! It cuts like butter. The mood to go straight to Breaking Bad, I took such a terminal block from the battery, its lead, and let's try to cut it off. You can say the job is done. Guys, well, this is just a miracle tool, cuts plywood like butter, thick wooden bars, as you could observe, can be cut in slices like sausage. Well, if we cut lead as thick as a finger, with an ordinary hex on wood, then this is simply not a tool, it's a fairy tale. So, thank you so much for your attention, be sure to rate the videos and share them with your friends in order for the channel to develop a little faster and have more views, videos will be released more often, it all depends on you, so thank you so much for your attention and support, you are cool, bye bye.